All right, everyone. I'm going to go through a quick overview and some reminders for how to do um, the Buncee app and how to kind of create your digital poetry project. As you can see, I've got the iPad here on screen. We're going to be using two main apps today, the camera app and the Buncee app, which is right up here. So I've already gone into my camera roll and taken a picture and saved it in here of the text that I want to use for my project. The poem I picked is This is Nebraska. So I've got that saved in my camera roll so I can get back to that when I need it. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up the Buncee. So here you can see that I've already kind of gotten started. I've created a sample one. I inputted um, a background and I just went to the background button and I went down to education and I picked the paper one. Remember you have to actually touch it and drag it up to change it. So let's say I wanted it to instead be this one that's got some books down on the bottom. The next thing I want to bring in is my picture of my text. So I'm going to go to my camera and make sure you always allow access. Okay. So if I wanted to take a picture, I could do that or I can go into my photo library. And here I've got my picture and I'm going to bring it in. So now I can uh, move it around, turn it, make it bigger, smaller, anything I need to do. So I'm going to do this and then add in some text using my text box. This would be where I might put in something about um, a poetic device or um, something that I noticed about it, maybe a theme or a mood that I had picked up. And then if I wanted to add in some stickers, I could go down here and thinking about uh, Nebraska and maybe being out in nature, maybe I want to put in a butterfly. So I'd put that over here. As I'm going through and working on all of this, if I decided that I wanted to actually make this um, into two slides, remember I can just hit my little plus button down here in the corner to add a second slide. Don't forget as you're going through this, here are your requirements. You have to have two poetic devices. You have to have five images besides the background. You have to have two audio clips and you can do an extra fun slide at the end if you wish. Make sure that you're remembering that overall goal of creating an experience for the reader beyond the static words on the page. When you get done with this, you wanna make sure you go up Hit your three little buttons so that you can save it. Um, if you haven't logged in, you need to make sure you do that so that it uh, uh, saves to your account. If you've got any questions, let me know. Thanks.